Hey there folks, it's Ryan, Ryan Grovis from Ryan's Beer Reviews and Tools and I'm coming from my uh, man cave today. This is the brew we got today, we'll be showcasing this, reviewing this. It was nice uh, the last couple of days here in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, the weather's really uh, nice throughout New England. Uh, I think uh, yesterday or the day before, actually my son and his wife went to the beach up in uh, New Hampshire, up in uh, Hampton. New Hampshire, they live in New Hampshire, and uh, that's the kind of day it was. It was a nice day. Today it's probably 58, 57, 58 degrees. It's um, a cool day. Yes, no, maybe, yeah, 57, 58 degrees. Uh, and depending upon New England, you're at, it's even colder. So, I mean, spring is here, but uh, uh, it was a little cool, too cool, actually. Could have been maybe that bad of a day to be outside doing a beer review. But uh, I was inside and uh, things to do here, so I'm going to do a beer review. I was working outside earlier. Uh, a lot of things to do. Got my tomato plants, get those going. And uh, it was time for a beer review. Uh, all day yesterday I was painting. <laughs> all right. Uh, as you can see, Winter Hill Brewing Company. I got some information on it. Uh, some of them Massachusetts, to be more precise. 328 Broadway Ave. That's one of the main streets going through the middle of um, Somerville. Uh, the phone number should you want to call, because all these places are actually closed, but they do have curbside. Uh, you can buy a curbside, and they do have a tap room. I think the tap room is open, if I'm not mistaken, but call first, and I'm going to give you the, the phone number. And it should be a, should be somewhere in the uh, beer review here. Uh, 617-718-2337. Again, the phone number is for Winter Hill Brewing, 617-718-2337. They also are open for coffee. Uh, they have a counterculture. They have all different kinds of coffee. Uh, it's in their tap room with the beers and the uh, the coffee culture there, the counterculture, has been going since 2016. I couldn't get any information on when this brewery opened, or who the founders were. Couldn't get much on it, so that, that's um, okay. Uh, I'll be quicker to, to read that. I mean, <laughs> read. God, there goes my mouth again. Yeah, I know. And, <laughs> and my mouth sometimes just says other things that I don't want. All right. All right, the ingredients in this, uh, as you can see, Johnny Juice. Now, look at the pineapple. I've seen this when I went to their webpage. I think they now call it Johnny Juice Bomb, but the pineapple looks like it's a bomb. A pineapple hand grenade, used in the Second World War. But doesn't that look like that? But, uh, right, but anyway, they call it a uh, Johnny Juice Bomb now. Uh, this can't even, other than that. Oh, this was one of the ones from uh, the 16 beer uh, swap that we had with the four different guys throughout the, uh, actually the New England area. Uh, Four of us and um, ended up with 16 different brews. And this was one of them. Uh, let me see now. We got ingredients on this here with uh, water, hops, malt, and yeast. Nothing else. That's it. No adjuncts. Brewed and canned by Dorchester Brewing Company, Boston, Mass. For Winter Hill Brewing Company. So that's something. Put that around. Uh, you can pause it and read that. Dorchester, Dorchester is a, a section of Boston. Um, the section of Boston that touches uh, Somerville is uh, Charlestown section of Boston. There's Dorchester section, there's Hyde Park section, Jamaica Plain, South Boston, East Boston, uh, the North End. Am I forgetting any? I know I am forgetting some of them. Alston, that's another section of Boston. Um, Dorchester section. Roxbury is another section. West Roxbury is another section. They're all sections of Boston. Like in New York, they call them boroughs. In uh, Boston, they call them sections. Uh, anyway, I, I used to, when I grew up in the elementary grades, I was in the Charlestown section of Boston. That's why I got a thick Boston accent. Don't say my R's. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty interesting to know. Uh, brewed and canned by Dorchester Brewing Company. Uh, all right, now there's just a warning on the Surgeon General for pregnant women not to drink alcohol. Brewed in mass, not mass brewed. 
with the Hell Brewing Company, some of them have to do. Hi, I'm, uh, now I'm looking forward to trying this. Oh, you got a glass? We got a mug. We have a mug. Uh, the old Schlitz mug. I'm looking forward to uh, drinking this because it sounds really good. It sounds like, like a definitely New England juice bar. Uh, I like the mugs. They don't slip out of my hand. That's easy. <laughs> okay. Let me get that. All right, ready? You see the water vapors coming out. Bubbles. I'll try to leave some room in there because every time I've been pouring lately, I overflow it. <laughs> oh, that looks good. That looks good. Hazy. Oh, I'm the wrong side. I want to look this way so you can see it. It's hazy. It's heavy. It's, I think it's the mug. <laughs> It's uh, an orangey color, orangey yellow. You can call it gold. It's translucent, as you can see. You got a possibility of over a two and a half finger, finger, not a two and a half finger head on this. To be there, with good retention as long as I've been holding it here. The head has been staying good and strong. Mmm, that smells nice. That smells like a juice bomb. Let me get some look at the bubbles there. Let's see how it is, the color on this. It was a nice citrusy uh, aroma that I did get when I did smell it. Citrusy and lemon. Lemony. Oh, yeah. It's a strong fruit from the hops, that kind of fruitness. As they said, what's in this brew is just the water, hops, malt, and yeast. No, no fruit is added into this. Now I'm getting grapefruit. It's, as the gases are coming out, the aroma is changing. Not, not that they change, they kind of wrap around each other and you, you pick up on certain ones. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Yeah, I'm back to the lemon, the lemony. I'm getting pineapple, lemon, a fruity aroma. That is nice. Real nice. All right, enough sniffing. Time for... Uh, the taste. Um, grapefruit. Grapefruit right up front. The fruitiness. Citrusy. Mm. Very drinkable. <laughs> Mm. This is very drinkable. This is another another fine brew. I think uh, this is one of the ones that I say we put this me because I just can't say me only put this in the swap. Uh, my lovely wife she picked these. Up. She went and picked up uh, the four four packs of uh, which was four different four packs that we broke up to make sixteen different beers for the different guys. And uh, in the swap, but she went and purchased the brews, and this is the one one she proved she uh, purchased, and this is really good. And I've had another one that she purchased, and that was really good. Actually, I've had a lot of good ones from a lot of the guys that put it in the swap. I've had a lot of good brews. Mm. That is really good, and it's uh, doesn't leave a bitterness at all. It's definitely a New England IPA, if not a juice bomb. It's 
It is along. It is along the line of a New England juice bomb. I'm not getting as much sweetness. But I'm definitely getting the fruitiness and the uh, nice feel on the tongue. The combination is good. As you can see, I am. Um, I like uh, New England juice bombs, and uh, they're probably my number one uh, beer that I like. But I do like uh, like Narragansett and a lot of the Jack's Abbey's brews that are brewed in Massachusetts and Framingham. And I don't want to go and talk about other brews, but I do like all kinds of beers. Um, I really don't enjoy. I can drink some as the West Coast IPAs. They're just too little astringent. But what happens is the more and more I drink brews like this, it's the less and less that I want or even enjoy the West Coast IPAs. And really, uh, they've got some nice fine brews coming from all parts of the country. And uh, But that's what happens. You stick with one beer. And a lot of uh, old timers are like that. They'd stick with their, their lager beer from the, the big uh, breweries and wouldn't change. Wouldn't change to any other breweries, but what they had. That's what I'm talking about other brews. <laughs> Stick with this one. Uh, nice citrusy. All the flavors are there. Uh, mouthfeel is, is mean, just a little light to medium, but more medium. Sweet flavors, not overly sweet at all. When I say that, I'm saying. The sweetness that comes from the uh, actual malt in the beers. Not overdone. Uh, as you can see, it's a good looking brew. And getting those all those flavors that you should. Pineapple, grapefruit, lemon. And the aromas. <laughs> I, I, I just enjoy the aromas of these New England IPAs. So with that said, I won't run this long. I do want to say it's uh, still coronavirus time. Uh, it's going away. People have been opening their shops and stores and etc. But still, watch out for your senior citizens and your family or your friends or your neighborhood. Keep an eye out for them. They seem, they're the ones that are most affected by any of these uh, viruses, whether it's the flu or this coronavirus. Um, just keep an eye out for them if you can. And... Uh, Let's all get along. Let's all uh, enjoy the day. We ain't going to get this day again. Once this day goes by, we'll never see this day again. We'll see it in a different year. but never going to see this day in 2020. So, with that said, enjoy the day, folks. Going to drink. Drink responsibly. Don't drive. Ciao. Coming at you.